so this old smelly dude just dropped off that desktop. It says it shuts itself off and won't come back on. After one smell, I could smell cigarette, which pretty much tells me it's gonna be overheating. Let's find out. That's gross. Hard drive covered. CPU fan chock full. Power supply clogged. Rear fan is gross. Now that is gross. Do not smoke inside. Don't smoke at all, actually. All better. You know, it's not, it's not fair. I don't know what it is lately, but it's a cockroachy time. I got another roach pooter. This calls for gloves. Now that I smell like doctor, time to start removing screws. Oh, and here's the money shot. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I cannot describe to you how bad this smell is. Oh. This thing's here because it's not taking discs, but I need to clean it. How in the motherfucker? Do people live like this? Oh no, man. Ugh. This laptop is overheating like really bad, so we're gonna fix that. And a little boop. And whoop. Every screw I can see. Perfect. Now to get these doors off. Cool. Oh no, it came with friends. I don't like friends. Ugh. Ugh. This drive comes out. God dang it. How do you live like this? Now every other screw I can see. <laughs> Flip. Oh my god. Uh, keyboard comes out. Oh. One more screw. Flip. 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 Razor blade. This comes out. Whole board comes out. Every screw I can see. Only two. Unplug everything. Whole board comes out. Uh, they found the warm spot. Screw, screw, screw. Here's the money shot. Oh, you wonder why it's. Ch this thing is literally making my whole store smell like cigarette. He's lucky I'm a clean freak. Don't smoke next to your computers. I know it don't look dirty, but it's slippery and smelly. Ugh, it still stinks. I don't know how people live in this. Now this isn't that bad. Much better. Gosh. So gross. Ugh. All of that just came from the cable. It's good enough. I need to wash my hands. So this guy's computer, he says it's overheating. I'd love a good self-diagnosis, but we'll see. I'm beginning to believe him. <laughs> okay, I want to know whose fancy ass idea it was to run this cable into the back of the case so now you can't get the door off. What kind of stupid is Okay, like four screws later, that thing comes off? Now I'm smart. Literally the stupidest thing. Finally got that fan out and it's just as gross back here. I have not seen a Corsair H60 in a while. All right, I believe this guy, but I want to see it with my own two eyes. You know what? That's good enough for me. Our pipes are warm. So it's getting heat out, but it's not getting it cooled. I got his graphics card out. It's a little dusty. But this is what I'm worried about. That screw came out like that. Okay. Not bad. Really bad. All right, y'all check this out. Oh. Oh, it's bad. We got some airflow now. <laughs> this is an Xbox One S. And this is... Your quick and easy cleaning tutorial. You got one warranty void sticker. Next, a flathead screwdriver will help as you go ahead and pry. Just like that. And once you do all four edges, the base should just come off. Now we need torque screwdrivers. Just about all of these will take the T9. Next, you want to take out all of your green screws. Stand your console up like this and do something like that. Eventually, you'll get something like that. And that's when this will just do that. 
And now you're like this, you can just take this top off. And there we go. Now this guy doesn't really have an overheating problem, so you want to clean all of these. This guy. The other side too. And then of course your fan and all of those little fins. Now to go back together, put this on. Awesome, now this goes back on. Flip it over, put all your green screws back in. Back goes on, and no more heat problem. Hello and welcome to my very first story time. It is a story time about how I acquired my business. Now this business, if you don't know, is my computer repair shop. I also do laptops, tablets, cell phones, just about everything tech. Repairs and sales. I got a job at this store in 2015, September 16th to be exact. I worked diligently in this store as an incredibly good employee, if I do say so myself, for just about three years. The owner of the company was not making enough money, so he walked away. He didn't put nothing into the business, so he didn't get nothing out. At that time, it was just me working for him. Everyone else left because he was a bad owner. I was the only one taking care of customers, so I knew that this place still needed to be open. He closed August 8th, I closed August 25th. Everyone always asks, how did you have enough money to do it? And honestly, I didn't start this from the ground up, so it wasn't a lot. All I had to do was pay a deposit on rent, the fees to start a business in Florida, and that was about it. 